yeah, whatever. Hey, I have got for you a new brand, new to me as of about eight months ago or so. Bought my first pair of Sonoda pliers, straight out of Japan, real high quality brand, been very impressed. Yes, I do still have these ones in the package, but I've had them all out of the package and have been using them, but there's some stuff about the packaging that I think is cool that I want to show you. As always, check for my Amazon links down in the description. I'll put links for some of these. Very reasonably priced for what you get. I've been very, very impressed by these pliers from Japan, Sonoda. Stay tuned. So right off the bat, here are these flush cutters, and these will cut plastic, but they'll also cut smaller gauge wires. These are PN-175. They're like a lot of tool companies, international tool companies. The second number is the number of millimeters, so these are 175 millimeters long. One of the things about these pliers that is really cool is they each come with their own booklet. That's the back of the package. That's the reason I saved all the packaging on these. You don't just rip it up and throw it away. It strikes me as kind of a Japanese flair here that they give you all these nice pictures and you know they have the the titles of the sections in English but the rest is written in Japanese but I don't know I mean you can kind of look at the pictures and tell what they're talking about here's the back of the package they talk about what gauge wire it could cut and I was just looking for uh, for flush cutters to do a flush cutter comparison I have several different brands now and eventually I'll do that video. If you're cutting plastic bands or whatever zip ties, these ones are just going to cut it flat. They have ones that are convex that will actually reach down in there and kind of scoop out more, but these are just the flat cutting version. So that's PN175. These are the duckbill pliers. These are DBP-200. I think I said earlier that uh, 175 millimeter is basically uh, 8 inch. Actually, that's 7 inch. These are DBP-200, so these are 8 inch duckbill pliers. Duckbill pliers, DBP, get it? Wow, they really thought of everything. I'll have a duckbill pliers comparison at some point in the future. I've got several different brands. I've been very, very impressed with these, the little bit that I've used them. Here's the Lyman's pliers. These are CP-200, so 8-inch Lyman's pliers. Again, just top-notch quality across the board on all these pliers. I got these for a specific reason. Again, a testing video I'll do at some point. I got, I think, about 15 different brands and types. The series on all this stuff you can see there in the camera, hopefully it says King TTC. They have different levels of tools, I guess you would call it, or different series. Everything I have is this King TTC from Sonoda. You see where it says there JIS, that's Japanese Industrial Standard. From what I can tell from what little I've read about it, that's basically just another take on like an ISO standard. They kind of all agree that we're going to manufacture things a certain way to a certain standard. It regulates and basically decides like what size fasteners are used. That's like why, why in a, a Toyota or a Honda you, you'll find like 8, 10, 12, 14, 17, and 19 millimeter a lot because those are all Japanese industrial standard. I have the 200 millimeter and the 150 millimeter, so the what the 6 inch and the 8 inch slip joint pliers. I've actually used the these 8 inch ones a fair amount. The, the six inch ones, the smaller ones I just got recently. They have a few different options here with these needle nose pliers. They have just the regular eight inch which are RP200. Then you've got the little 150 millimeter ones but these ones are 45 degree angled bent nose. Actually these ones I've used a fair amount. Put them back in the package for your viewing pleasure but very very handy. My opinion with hands my size it doesn't hurt to have a lot of different styles of needle nose pliers. They reach into areas that I would otherwise have a really hard hard time with. See the spring there 
with these flush cutters. So that's just kind of an overview of these pliers from Sonoda. It's hard for me to overstate how impressed I've been at their manufacturing quality of these tools. And very, very reasonably priced, like very similar to channel lock prices on Amazon and seem to be of equal quality. I know channel lock USA made, I get it. These are made in Japan, but the point is very high quality tools from what I can tell. I just kind of wanted to do an introduction of these on my channel. I know there are a few other videos out there on Sonoda tools, but these are all tools that I'm going to be using in comparisons over the next probably year or so in my videos. I've got some big videos planned with a bunch of different brands that we don't usually see compared to each other. So here it is, Sonoda, super, super high quality and really relatively affordable. Uh, I mean, I've got no issues on the prices for, for these. I, I think the most I spent on any of these pairs of pliers, I might have spent, I think on the lineman's pliers, I might have spent right at $20 for them, which is, uh, you know, just a, a, almost a steal in my, in my book. So Sonoda, look for them soon. Look for them often on my channel. Until then, TTFN.